everyone, Chef Tom here. Today I'm going to show you how to make grilled chicken in marinara heaven. So you're going to need uh, two large chicken breasts that you just split in half. You're going to need a couple scallions. This is three button mushrooms that I sliced. You have about six pieces of sweet basil, Italian sweet basil. You have a small tomato that I just sliced and you need the seeds. You have one white onion that I roughly chopped. We have a, a tablespoon of minced garlic. We have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then we have uh, some marinara sauce. And finally, you have linguine that you're going to cook al dente. I'm going to cook about eight ounces of linguine al dente. So let's go ahead and start the recipe. One other ingredient I didn't mention is two cups of baby spinach leaves. Okay, first I'm going to start off by seasoning the chicken. Because the sauce is going to have all the flavor, we're just going to keep the base, the simple, um, the flavors basic. So I'm sprinkling some salt and black pepper evenly across the chicken. And I have my charcoal grill going and we're going to grill this. And we're going to finish this in a cast iron skillet on the grill. I left a little bit of the fat on the chicken because it's going to burn on. So sprinkle both sides of salt and pepper, rub it in, and then we're going to take this out on the grill. Okay, so on my grill, I'm going to place my chicken on the grill. And I'm going to... So I'm going to place the chicken onto the grill. I'm going to close the grill. And I'm going to let this go for about four and a half minutes. And then we're going to flip it. What is it, huh? I think my cat's hungry too. So we're going to get this Okay, I'm going to let this go for another four minutes. And then we'll be so right back. It's been about four and a half minutes. And I do have my chicken furthest away from the charcoal. Now, I know you're going to say the chicken's not done. But um, we're going to finish cooking it later. So we're going to pull this off the grill. It's about 90% done. And then we're going to slice this into strips. You can slice this however you like. So this is, uh, yeah, it's about 90% done. I took the temp, but I'm pretty sure it's going to finish cooking anyhow because it's so hot. But it was about 160 degrees, and I did let it rest for a few minutes before I sliced it. So slice your chicken up, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so in my uh, cast iron, I'm going to add butter. I'm going to add the onions. And I'm going to saute this just for a minute. Next thing I'm going to add to this here is the spinach. I'll cook this for about a minute or two. So it's been a minute. The spinach just cooked down just a little bit. That's what we want. And I'm going to add to this the garlic. The mushrooms, tomatoes, and sweet basil. This is going to be like two cups of marinara sauce. I'm going to add the scallions. Give that a mix. I'm not going to add any salt to this, but I will be adding pepper. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook for about one minute so everything can heat up nicely. Okay, it's been a minute. I'm going to give this a stir. And now we're going to add the chicken.
Uh, I'll tell you the chickens at about was at 90 between 90 90 percent done 90 95 percent done another reason why I'm not adding salt is because I salted the water for the pasta and the chicken has salt on it already so I'm just giving everything a quick mix together so it's been five minutes and this is done So we're going to mix this with the pasta. So this is the linguine that I cooked al dente. And I rinsed it with cold water. So the pasta is not really warm, but once we pour the sauce over, it's going to heat it back up. You rinse it with cold water because you want the sauce to just be right on the noodles. So I'm pouring the... Um, my marinara mixture here. This smells incredible. So I got some dried parsley, a tablespoon, and I'm gonna add it to a teaspoon of black pepper. Give that a mix. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this up and let you guys see what it looks like, and I'm gonna do a taste test. Look at this beautiful dish. The spinach, the basil, the garlic, the tomatoes, the chicken. It's just, how could you not want this? So I'm outside on a beautiful day and I'm going to give this a taste test and I'm going to enjoy dinner. So I need some of the pasta here, some of the mushroom. And a piece of spinach, why not? Uh oh. If I can make it stay on the fork. <laughs> so we're gonna um, try this. This is so good. The chicken. It's succulent, lots of flavor absorbed in from the sauce. Pasta is perfect. Everything is perfectly seasoned. I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow my social media sites, and you'll be able to find the full recipe in the description box under the video. And my heart goes out to all the tragedies that are going on, and I'm just we just have to really just come together as one. So much destruction, so much madness going on. But remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thank you for watching.